In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for CH3COOH plus BaOH2. This is acetic acid, also called an ethanoic acid, and this is barium hydroxide. Sometimes you'll see acetic acid written like this here. They're the same thing. They're just arranged differently. Let's use this one in the video. So we have our acetic acid and our barium hydroxide. We're going to write the net ionic equation. One of the first things we do is we need to balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation, and it looks like we could put a 2 here and a 2 in front of the water, and that would balance the equation. Once we've done that, we write the states. Acetic acid, that's a weak acid. It won't break apart in water, but it will dissolve. So if you put it in water, it'll be aqueous because it dissolves, but it doesn't split apart into its ions, just a little bit. So we don't consider this a strong electrolyte. Barium hydroxide, though, that's a strong base, a strong electrolyte. That'll split apart completely into its ions. Then we have barium acetates. Acetates are very soluble. They split apart, dissociate into their ions. And then liquids, like water, we don't do anything with those. We don't split those apart. So we have the states. Now we're going to split the strong electrolytes into their ions. That'll give us the complete ionic equation. We said that for the acetic acid, we're not going to split that apart. So we can just write CH3. COOH, and I'll write aqueous at the end. We have two of these acetic acids, so we need to put a two as our coefficient here. Plus, we have barium. Barium's in group two on the periodic table. It has a two plus ionic charge, so we have Ba2 plus, and then the hydroxide. You should know that hydroxides have a one minus ionic charge. This whole OH is OH minus, so we have OH minus. And we have this little subscript that says we have two of them. Put a two as our coefficient here. These are the reactants in the net ionic equation. We said barium was two plus, and if you look the acetate ion up on a table of common polyatomic ions, it has a one minus charge. Not surprising, we have two of them, so that would be two minus two plus, cancel out. So let's split this up. We have the Ba2 plus and the products, and then we have the acetate ion. CH3COO minus, and that two again, we have two of those, plus our two waters. We won't split the waters up because they're a liquid. This is what we call the complete ionic equation. Sometimes they call it the total ionic equation. Now we can cross out what are called spectator ions. They're on both sides of this complete ionic equation. So I can see I have a Ba2 plus here and the reactants. And in the products, I have a Ba2+. Plus. I can cross that out. Everything else is different, though. The CH3COOH, acetic acid, that's different than the CH3COO minus, the acetate ion. And the hydroxide's different than water. So we can't do anything with those. This is the net ionic equation. So we crossed our barium ions out. Now let me clean this up. I'll write the states in, and we'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the correct net ionic equation for CH3COOH plus BaOH2. This is acetic acid and barium hydroxide. One last thing, since we have two in front of each term here, we could reduce that down just to one, and we wouldn't really write the one. So this would be a more concise net ionic equation for CH3COOH plus BaOH2. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.